champions away. 50 points from 22 played, one less than Manchester United, Leicester and Liverpool. And those were the teams that we said were in it. All the reaction and more that we can squeeze from Anfield we'll share with you, so don't stray. And then on the back of that, Sheffield United entertain Chelsea. It kicks off at 22.15 Mecca. It's on HD5 if you prefer Arabic coverage or stay with us here for our English language service on HD11. Hmm. That doesn't need words. Yeah. Can we just can we just <laughs> embrace this moment and just look at this? And let me sit here with a big smile on my you face. You can embrace this moment if you like. <laughs> there are others, and not too far from where we sit, Andy, that are not particularly happy at all about what's happened this afternoon, but would concede. Are you me? You talking about no, me? no, I'm not oh, talking about you. I'm that. saying about others. Who you're talking not too far. We're surrounded by Liverpool I, fans. I'm oh, totally right. neutral. Uh -huh. And in this part of the world, particularly, mm -hmm. um, uh, yes. Liverpool will get a. Yes, a, a more than fair, very well supported team in this correct. Part of the world. Yes, so you absolutely. you sit there and, and be smug if you like. Hey, well, you don't have to say anything. We'll just look at you for a minute if you I like. Just, yeah, I just, <laughs> you can just you can just put the camera on my face and just <laughs> let me enjoy that beautiful smile of mine. You see that gold, that Colgate smile here. <laughs> <laughs> Other well-known toothpaste yes, are, are available. available. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Various, uh, outlets. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that was stunning second half, wasn't it? It was. Uh, it was stunning. Yeah. I mean, you know, Andy already uh, predicted it as well. We're going to see a better second half. And you know, to be honest, uh, it started off well. And what we said as well in uh, during the second half and the start of the second half, this goal just needs a. Uh, for this this game just needs a goal just to uh, to break that deadlock. And it and it exactly happened, you know. Uh, uh, City was uh, was on the brink of scoring uh, before the f the one uh, one nil, and they did eventually. And of course, uh, what happened after we all seen. Uh, but I think uh, overall it was a great second half by City, and I think it deserved to win. Of let's this, remind uh, this ourselves game. that they had the opportunity from the penalty spot to open the scoring first half. Had they done five, would look a whole lot worse than four, and, and that's bad enough. Uh, no debate about the award. There's a couple of things for me and watch the first goal or what I think it's the first goal. The way that Raheem Sterling goes past Trent Alexander Arnold, allegedly one of the best fullbacks in world football, as if he's not there. No. Right, he goes past him there, keep your eye, we'll bring I'll show you the second goal mm -hmm. or the first or second goal it was, he does the same. But there's no doubt it's a penalty. Fabinho hangs that trailing leg, if you like, out mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. he, he never argued. But this was wow. Yeah. It was a poor penalty, very poor penalty. And the whole setup, you know, before kicking the ball, was what we said, it was like taking a corner or a free kick. Yeah. You know, try to bend it, try to bend <laughs> it towards him. <laughs> it looked like that, didn't it? Well, it was it. all quickly forgotten and forgiven when he did score. His but the point you were really making, Andy, about Liverpool's right fullback yeah. uh, is, is, is a good one. Mm. Do you know what? Because it's evident here as well. You see, having skipped past him in the first half there, Watch but, this. No, the clearance first, huh? Yeah, the clearance, clearance is the third one. Okay, but look, look clearance at that. And this one as well. He's not there. I mean, he goes past them. Like he's not even there. Like he's not there. Yeah. I mean, that, that says a lot. Of, that body language of Trent Alexander oh. says a lot about the confidence that he's playing under right now. Because normally, if you have a one against one situation right here, and you know that's a right-footed guy, you, t you, you take him on the inside, you let him come over his leg, because you know, you know that his left yeah. foot is the weakest left foot. I did say to both of you a couple of weeks ago, I didn't think either of the fullbacks were in particularly good form, yeah. and I got shot down. But, uh, no, 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 that's, 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 that's different. That, I mean, that is, that's not great. That, that's, mm, uh, you know, you, you know Raheem's predominantly right-footed. He does anyway, yeah. plays with him for England. You know that in nine times out of ten, he wants Where's to come on the inside. inside. Yeah. You know, he should know that more than anybody. Mm. But I have to say in this, Phil Ford, what a game he's had. He's the one who had the shot there that uh, yeah. that was one save the goalkeeper was unlucky Right, with. let me ask you now. At 1-0, right, mm. four minutes into the second half, why didn't Klopp there say, OK, as it turned out they did, we might as well lose three or four. I'm going to change it here. I'm mm -hmm. going to put Henderson into the midfield. We're getting overrun. I want some energy. I want some legs. I'm going back to what I know best. And I'll bring that Phillips on. Who can play for the next 40 minutes? Would would that not have been a no, sensible? I don't, I don't route think to so. go it was point. an option. It was.
an option. But at that stage, at this point, he, th he feels like this team is still in it. And you got to understand also, the, the, the change that they made on the midfield is they dropped Wijnaldum as a defensive midfielder and put Thiago a little bit more up and let, let him sit as a more creative player. So he made a change already inside of his team, his current team that was well, already he made on the, the pitch. change, didn't he? he and then, the yeah, but that was after. That was after the, the after the war, was it? The 1-1? One, one, uh, it was the 2-1. So he made a double change after. But at what that you're stage, saying in his starting lineup? In his starting lineup, his forward. starting lineup, he, he he changed the position with Thiago and, and Wijnaldum. Yeah, I think was he's already right. Thiago. Is, I said this the other way again. Wonderful player, not for Liverpool. Ever since he's arrived, Liverpool's whole approach to the game has no, changed. No, no you, you're not blaming him for what went on later, are you? No, I'm, I'm saying that the, he changes the energy and but, the intensity but, of the team. He's different to what no, Henderson but, is. No, but he's never, he's never played in a Liverpool side. That's at, it's, uh, that's at its best, it's got all its players in it. But what's, what's he going to he add? Has it, has when, it. when Liverpool are at their best, he's going to get blown away. He's not going to see the ball, is it? No, of course he has. And, and Henderson's course, rattling Richard, into people. Richard, he's played at the, the top level for years. Mm. But different, at the highest for, level. He's played for Guardiola's teams. How does Mark? Tippy tappy teams. He's played for <laughs> nice teams. Guardiola's teams. Yeah. What, what, happened, what happened today? He's not playing. What happened today for Guardiola's team? 4 1. So uh, you can't say that. And of course, Thiago, he's a quality player, what Andy has said as well. And it, of course, it is he's not, a quality it's not, player. No, but he not changes him. Liverpool for me. Adversely, no, right? Well, maybe Liverpool need changing, and it's also and it has to do to the fact that you also you're lacking personnel. You really think that Klopp wants to put Henderson as a central defender? No, because he doesn't have the personnel. So at the end of the day, if everybody is fit, Thiago will play, but he will play higher up. He will play like a, a, a Naibi Keita. You know, mm -hmm. in that kind of role, like a number eight, and put Henderson as a defensive midfielder. But he can't do that now because he doesn't have the personnel to put somebody in that central uh, central defender role that he can trust and that they have the experience. I think because he got the loss of until, he, until he starts playing in the team where Van Dijk and Gomez and and all the selections are available. I, I think that it's, uh, it's early. It's early for me to judge and and, yeah. and, and blame it purely on the well, fact that he changes. On him. He changes I'd what they do. Just look at them and they uh, Richard. I think you look at every player in that team. You touched on the two fullbacks, for instance, right? For two years, glorious, both mm. of them, glorious, right? Not quite at it. It happens. They're human beings. It mm. happens. You know, you look at the front three. The front three today were a pale shadow of themselves. Because unrecognisable tonight. Because they weren't getting service or because no. they were poor in this general? Is, listen, if, if, a both. if you win, you do it together. If you lose, you do it together as well. And you have to look for the failure as a collective. Mm. This is not due to one player that comes in from a different kind of team and sets up the system in a different way. This is a collective failure. So if, if you look at all the, all the lines in, in a system from defence to midfield to, to attack, They've been all being poorly, you know, especially this game, but for mm. the last couple of weeks. So much still to talk so about. Let's have a look failure. at the equaliser because mm. Liverpool were in it for a short time. Um, two questions. One, w w why is there not a red shown? Mm -hmm. uh, two, I've got to be consistent and say 